Zaku Recon. He's got a big hole in the back of his hand. Yeah, it's a no great. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Boy Zap, King of the Giant Robots, and the Queen of Space. And welcome to the final, the last Tokyo Treat. The last. The last the one. Last the one. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's switch to what's inside our final Tokyo Treat. And that's not to say that Tokyo Treat is ending as a company. It's just this is our last box as we're switching over to the personally superior Sakura Co box. So this month is Sakura Snack Surprise. Ooh, my favorite. Pink and lovely. Let's see regular pack-ins. This month's Lucky Treat giveaway is One Piece themed. I like little kids, that's kind of cool. I don't know a lot about One Piece, except that it's extremely long. And the photo contest giveaway is some Pokemon blind boxes. Mm. And uh, to those with a keen eye, you might notice that this page over here actually has instructions on how to open a Ramune. So I'm assuming there's one in there. Um, but I just think it's a little bit funny. They're like, oh, here's the instructions. Because, uh, yeah, I remember the long, long ago days, <laughs> the dark days of cons when no one knew how to properly open a homine, but that was whew, like 20 years ago. When you think it's cool, you could just hammer the top in and then you just like completely whiff it, catch the <laughs> edge and cut your palm over, it's like, no! So, w I remember, like, this is like pre 2000s, okay? Mm. So, this is like early days. Before so, my days. the first time I had homine and someone brought it to a con, um, they brought it a at a grocery store in LA and driven it up to Washington State. And I had never seen one before. I was a kid. And we didn't know you had to hold it down. So we would pop it and then try to stick it in our mouths as fast as we could to stop it from foaming over. Because if you don't hold the stopper down, it'll foam over. But if you hold the stopper down until it's done fizzing, it'll go down. We didn't know that in the early days. <laughs> but I'm so glad we live in an enlightened society now where people can be properly educated on how to open their own egg. <laughs> how to enjoy your snack. And the first snack on the docket. Mike. Mike. Uh, you would think it would be easy to find. Oh, Mike popcorn. Classic salt. Nothing says a party like popcorn. Mike's popcorn is Japan's favorite popcorn and an essential party snack. This one will, it will surely be a hit with its classic salty flavor. So it's just regular old popcorn. Good old popcorn. I like popcorn. Though, Sometimes so. you just need a good flavor. You, you don't need, need a plum. Yeah, yeah. Please, no more plums. No. We have a classic. <gasps> Ooh, Onion Boys. Onion Boys. On, this is Onion Taro Snacks. We're closing out our Hana... Hanami... Yeah, there we go. We're closing out our Hanami party with these savory corn snacks you won't forget anytime soon. This super tasty onion flavor of these corn snacks will have your mouth watering. Mine's watering already. No. no I'm no. always waiting for my onion prints to come. And then I believe this one belongs to me. Oh, yes. It has lemon. lemon. This is going to be tempura fried lemon squid snacks. We're adding some sour and savory lemon squid snacks to shake up this sweet Sakura surprise. Enjoy it for a burst of refreshing sourness. That is a shake up because I'm like, okay, maybe it's a lemon cracker. Squid. What? Yeah, it's squid. <laughs> Enjoy. Adventure. But then again, it's not unusual to like season a fish food with right, lemon. With lemon. I've never had like a, a dried squid with lemon before, but that's that's really interesting. Okay, I would do all about it. The usual Magic cracker. Magic carpet ride. Where are you at? Here we go. Crunchy turtle crackers. We get these like every month. <laughs> like crunchy and spicy, these are the perfect crackers to spice up your cherry blossom viewing party for Japanese curry fans. And as usual, they'll go in my chicken noodle soup. Yeah, and they're like curry flavor. Yeah, and so. they like, they like the soup broth softens them up just right for me and my 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 unlucky genetics. What else have we got? <gasps> Soccer, actually. Yeah, sugar rusk. Football. Football. <laughs> Sport. <laughs> Umai sugar rusks. These sweet and crunchy Japanese sugar snacks are an awesome energy booster. A corn snack that we promise you won't be able to stop crunching on. They are super sweet. Are they? Yeah. Delicious. Not, not like not like overwhelmingly sweet, but they're 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 sweet. They're very sweet. Okay. Right. We have this kid who looks like Ness. Wanna be Ness. New Mochitaro! Spring is all about new beginnings, but we're looking into the past for this awesome retro snack. These crunchy crackers have a simple saltiness that is super addictive. Crackers. Just little crackers. A lot of crackers here. 
lot of crackers. Mini crackers. Uh, sweets. Sweets. This is the Mashero. 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 There's no A in there. Mashero. Soft, light, and fluffy like Sakura. Mashero makes the perfect light Japanese marshmallow snack for any sweet tooth. Is your moustache? Is your marshmallow moustache? Uh oh. My, my moustache? Marshmallow down. Saved him. Got him. He's all right. He okay. I could already tell that the way it was supposed to be said is like, ah, oh, we have a marshmallow pun. <laughs> we have Banana Man. Banana Man. Do you want a banana? Banana Man is here to join your sakura party. Inside this fluffy Japanese banana marshmallow, you'll find plenty of chocolate sauce that will have you craving more. That's interesting. It's a banana marshmallow with chocolate on the inside. I like the sound of that. The final umaibo. Umaibo cheese. We wouldn't leave our cheese pants hanging at Sakura season, and this classic crunchy corn snack is the perfect way for cheese lovers to satisfy. And that sentence just ends there. There's no punctuation. There's nothing. It's like there should be another line. Oh no! They went to the next topic. It's like, oh my bow, control pace. Dear, dear snack writer, you screwed up this month. <laughs> Teeny tiny little snacky. Sorry, this was. Oh, here we go. Here's small. Gummy fruit donuts. Don't. Don't get enough of fresh and fruity spring fra flavors? Then you'll have to try this super cute Japanese gummy. If the donut shape doesn't convince, it, it is also cut off. Mm -hmm. um, there's no punctuation. It just also con it doesn't convince and it just stops. Oh, no. <laughs> Somebody missed, oh, uh, made a little mistake this month. Did they uh, sign this to an intern? <laughs> it looks like it's just so those two. I'm hoping that this wouldn't cost too much, considering we here can get, you know, peach rings. Oh, it's just a peach ring! It's literally just one peach ring! We can get peach rings for like, what, like a dollar fifty, two bucks for a bag oh, of Oh, yeah, from the dollar store even, they're a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, there you go. Bag. So hopefully that's like, you know, a five, ten yen. Yeah, because that's literally one peach ring. <laughs> Maybe we're just fat Americans, that could be! <laughs> But I don't know about you, but when I sit down, I eat at least half a bag of peach drinks. Ooh, I saw these in the ads upside down. Oh, <laughs> This is the Sakura Latte Marshmallow. We're latte. getting major spring vibes from these marshmallows. They come in two flavors, the Sakura flavor, which is pink, and the Sakura Latte, which is white. Enjoy them on their own or as a topping for sweets or drinks. Oh, man. Oh man. Considering the other box is going to have some teas in there. Oh that man. could be a move. That could be a move. I don't know about marshmallows and tea, but willing to try it. Right. I mean, the, the latte flavor is what that's like, hmm. Yeah. My oh. gosh. These are super good. Sankaku. Sankaku cracker. These are Sankaku vegetable crackers. Ready for some salty vegetable flavor crackers? These cute triangle crackers are super crunchy and addictive. You won't want to to share them at your Hanami party. But I do share them at work, and every time we get a flavor of these, they're vegetable crackers. But they're delicious. In my brain, they register as cheese flavor, and oh. it's good. No, it's garden vegetable, but it's delicious. It is gardened by Lazaku. <laughs> well punned. This is the Ramen Shop Taro Snacks. After a party, nothing is better than some tasty, savory ramen snacks. Try enjoying them in hot water or munch them as they are. Again, we've gotten these like every month for like the past three or four months. Eh, every other month, but still, it's just throw them into your usual bowl of ramen. Uh, what flavor did it say this, these were? Did it say? Nope. nope. It just says ramen shop. Oh, all right. Could be beef, chicken. What, what, what? What? A ramen shop? <laughs> Me and Macklemore, we go to the ramen shop. <laughs> we are very punny today. This is a good show. <sighs> I'm so bad at this, I should be pun-ished. Oh. Okay. Mini Monster Gummy. The winter blues still got you down? Get a sour spring shock with this fruity soft monster gummy that will help you into a spring mood. And... I think they're segmented just right that you could pull them apart. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like you know, twizzler pull and peel, like little tiny, like one strip. We used to have a friend that lived here, and uh, we would call him Rainbow Bacon. <laughs> because <laughs> it looks kind of like bacon. <laughs> yes. <sighs> uh, 
right, now we got the big boys in here. Big boys. Let's go with Pringles. Pringles Japanese fried chicken flavor. Oh man. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. I think I know what we're trying today. Japanese fried chicken is a must eat at hanami parties. And we're bringing it to you in this limited edition Pringles form. Made with plenty of onion and garlic flavoring. Yummy. That is the over here by me. That sounds <laughs> that sounds like what we're opening later. Unless what do we have here today? Sakura Kit Kats. Oh my god, look at the little anime family on there. That's so cute. Aww. Spring limited edition Sakura Kit Kats? The only thing better than elegant Kit Kat Sakura chocolate is that Nestle Japan donates 10 yen for every bag to Sakura Line 311, an NPO that plants Sakura trees in areas in areas affected by the Tohoku earthquake. Well, it's a good thing that purchasing this box has helped contribute. Because the suppliers have to buy like right. hundreds of these bags. Yeah. So. And they're donating 10 yen per bag to plant uh, sakura trees in places affected by And somewhere on the back, I'm going to see if I can't maybe zoom in on this. It looks like if you scan this barcode, you may be able to... I don't think I can get the barcode on there. But it looks like it's implying it'll take you to a site wherein you can take pictures of paint products or this bag and maybe that'll help contribute to more sakura trees. Yeah, they might plant more trees. It looks like scan the code, take a picture of something pink, take a picture of the bag, and send it in, and they'll plant another sakura tree just for you. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Let's, let's, oh, let's I'm show the cute family. Look at this cute family. Look at them. They're adorable. <laughs> Dad's even got a little mustache. Freaking cute. Okay. Now, this has to be a premium. It has a gold label. Woo doo Yes. Japanese festival favorite Gromune is here. This famous Japanese lemonade has a cute pink color and an elegant sakura flavor that you need to try. Need help opening it? Check out page six. As I said, there's directions mm -hmm. on how to do it. You uncap, you mash it down, and you hold it. And you wait. But it's very pink. It's super pink. It reminds me of um, Surup Bandung from Malaysia, which I have some downstairs. Yeah, it's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah really pink like to me this looks like a uh, dishwashing liquid huh. like like to wash your dishes like it's just so pink <laughs> oh. just reuse the bottle by refilling it with dishwashing <laughs> so trick your friends you never know the difference punish your children i don't have any so we're cool <laughs> <laughs> okay so i think we should try the chips but what are you looking at okay if you don't try the chips i always pick so let's let's try the chips all right once you pop just the fun can't will, stop. <laughs> the fun will have to stop in about two minutes. A little broken, but you know, shipping. They smell good. Jaws. That tastes like fried chicken. <laughs> I think perhaps I've had too much fast food fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I can taste that it is fried chicken, but my brain's like, no, that's not the fried chicken that you set yourself up. Oh, for no. Two minutes ago. Well, that tastes like fried chicken to me. Yeah. It, it's mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. It's just my brain registered. No, that's, that's not quite right. But it is right. It's yep. good. It's tasty. Delicious. Right. <laughs> but alas, we say goodbye. To Tokyo treat. Bye. We will continue on with more treats, more snack boxes, many more unboxings. Coming soon, another makeup box on your channel? Yes, over at Roar Boutique. Uh, we just put up the March box and the April box should be here soon as well. I'll also be putting up my very first Disney Homebound video in the next couple weeks. So if you want to check that out, head over to the Roar Boutique channel. <laughs> Link in the description below as totally. you do. And you can always see Zappa over on my channel as well. He helps with my unboxings, so. I make a, a good Vanna White. Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's teamwork. <laughs> Alright, but with that, as always, Sig Zion!